بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اینڈ ویلکم ٹو اکیڈمک وے ائی ایم ڈاکٹر محمد زبیر ایز اے ریسرچر وی ار آل کنسرنڈ وتھ دی اونٹولوجی اف اور ٹاپک سو وٹ ریئلی از اونٹولوجی ان ریسرچ آئی ول ایکسپلین اونٹولوجی فرام اے پریکٹیکل پرسپیکٹیو وتھ ان ایکچوئل ٹاپک دیٹ ول کلیریفائی یور انڈرسٹینڈنگ اف یو فائنڈ دی ویڈیو یوزفل Please like it and if you are new to the channel, please subscribe Academic Bay. Ontology refers to the study of being. It is concerned with the nature of reality, hence also known as theory of reality. Ontology acts as a belief system that explains how an individual behaves. Ontology presents a central idea of whether identities are perceived through objective or subjective lenses. Thus, within the field of research, it is determined whether the phenomenon or problem at hand is external to the social world or is created by perceptions of the social actors. This lays the foundation of objectivism and subjectivism. Objectivism portrays that reality is independent of social actors. On the other hand, subjectivism perceives reality as created by people based on their beliefs, perceptions and actions they take. Let me give you a demo. What is it? Most of you will answer it's a pen. But one of the person who was once shot with a pen gun, similar in shape, will answer it's a gun. So this person's answer reflects subjective ontology based on his past experience. Imagine we are doing research on crime and try to see what the reality of the crime is. In other words, what really is a crime? It is believed that criminology has no ontological reality. Why? Because the ontological position of the crime is dependent on various dimensions of the criminal event. For example, when you see people drinking alcohol, either as social or habitual drinker, first of all, your belief system may label this act of drinking as a moral crime or not. For many, it may not be a crime, but when the drinker exceeds from the allowed limit, then he or she will also label it as a crime. Hence, it is the belief of the observer-researcher. It's the law. It can also be time and space where the act of drinking has taken place. In excess of all these aspects will define the reality about the crime. Every time it is the case, whether it's our belief, it's our past training, past knowledge, it's the social influence which is affecting our knowledge, our perceptions about the phenomenon or the research problem that we are dealing with, that these are the ontological dimensions of our research topics. Once you decide on the foundations of the reality of the crime, then you can explore the options for getting knowledge about the reality that is epistemology. So, in a separate video, I will talk about the epistemology. Thanks for watching.